setting yourself for your next career move isn't as easy as it may seem. Follow these simple steps and you'll make life much easier. Right, Cedric? Now the first thing you have to do is work out what you want and go for it. This is not as easy as it sounds. Think about what you can do, are good at and enjoy. You can write a list. For example, with Cedric, laboratory work. Can you do it? Yes. Are you good at it? Yes. Do you enjoy it? Not really. How about talking to people? Can do it? Yes. Good at it? Yes. And enjoy it? Yes. Make a list of the organisations you would really like to work with as well. You will be more successful in a career that you're good at and you enjoy doing. If you know what you want and aim for it, your chances of getting it are much, much greater. Otherwise, it's like you're just shooting blindly. Imagine getting the perfect job. It's like getting a basketball into a hoop. Your chances of getting that ball into the hoop are much enhanced if you have your eyes open and you're facing in the direction of the hoop. You may not get it the first time, but the more you practice and the more preparation, your chances increase. Only 20% of jobs are advertised. So as well as applying for jobs on the internet or in the newspaper, you need to do your own networking. Tell everyone that you're looking for a new job, except of course the people at your current job. You may be surprised as to who and what they know. Register with recruiters, internet job sites and the employers that you really want to work for. Always write a targeted cover letter if it's for a specific job. Or send a general letter stating the type of work that you are looking for if it's for a general application. Most recruiters and many employers have a database so they can find you when a suitable job becomes available. Your resume may be quite different depending on the type of job that you're going for, especially the difference between commercial science and academia. We will concentrate here on commercial science. Jobs like working in a laboratory, quality control, quality assurance, research and development, customer service, technical support, sales, and being a service engineer, all with commercial companies. Your resume is a very important document. It's the first thing that a new employer sees about you, so you need to make it good. If you think you are 70% suitable for a job, send in your resume along with a targeted cover letter. Keep it to a maximum of four pages. Keep it simple and professional. No photographs or any fancy fonts. We don't need an encyclopedia to see if you're right for the job. Be honest, with no gaps. If you went travelling or working outside of your field, please say so. Double and triple check your spelling, grammar and layout. If you have mistakes, your employer will think that you either don't care or don't know how to write. Don't bother to put in your religion, your age or your marital status. It's nobody's business but your own. Keep all your information in the main body of your document, not in the header and footer. Header and footer information as well as PDFs make it difficult for people with databases to pick up the information that they need. On page one, your name, contact details and not a PO box. Have a professional email address. Please, not sexkitten at hotmail.com. Then put in your education and your qualifications. For example, Bachelor of Science and maybe the title of your honours or any other postgraduate study that you've done. Also on page one, include your residency status, whether you've got a driver's license for your own transport. Remember, recruiters and employers are not mind readers. You need to include all of your skills. You can even have a separate page listing all of your technical and non-technical skills so we can pick them up. On page two, you start with your work experience. You want the name of your employer and the dates that you worked there, include months and years. You want the reader of your resume to see how your skills are transferable to your new job. Generally, leave your referees and list of publications as available on request. You can send them later. Good luck and I hope you get the interview.